Hi, my name is Stephanie Towery. I'm the Copyright Officer at University Libraries, Texas State University. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the copyright features in our version of Canvas, in our instance of Canvas at Texas State University. So there's a, um, we have some features that we've turned on and they really help us to um, show and evaluate how um, how we've achieved either permissions to use cut someone else's copyrighted material if we have a license if we're relying on fair use or if perhaps we own the copyright in something and it allows us to track that and to show that we have at least considered the copyright um, ownership of the things that we upload to canvas so i want to show you how to activate those features and um, there's a couple different ways you can get there and some of you may have actually stumbled upon it by yourselves but I'm going to start with files so I'm going to start with files and I'm going to go over here to upload so say I want to upload into my course some materials that I have on my desktop so I've already prepared a folder called canvas resources and I have a variety of things in there and I want to talk about sort of the easiest version which is something that I created um, and that I want to upload so I'm gonna go ahead and pick scholarly communications outreach plan I created this plan myself my personal self um, and I, there's a little bit of a difficulty here because I created this um, in the capacity of my job here as a copyright officer, as a librarian at Texas State University. So the default rule is that in, in the US is that the work that I create for my employer is owned by my employer. So technically, Texas State University is the owner of this, but I'm going to say that I have permission on behalf of the university to upload this to my course site, especially because I created it. So as a creator, I'm going to take on that right. Um, one of the things that we haven't really figured out in our copyright policy here at Texas State University is does an employee have the right to license material that they created and we prepared the copyright advisory committee and myself have created a um, how to select a creative commons um, license for the work that you create and one of the things that we've tackled is this problem of what it, what do you do if you create a, a worksheet or a form for your job and you want to put a creative commons license on it so because our the spirit of our policy is so generous to creators um, we've sort of taken the taken the view that uh, employees can place creative commons licenses on most of the work that they create the next go around when we um, revise the policy we'll probably put that um, explicitly in there so here we go um, you see that this We've uploaded this document and we see that it says before publishing this file you must specify specify usage rights so let's just ignore that and we'll try to oh well I don't want to publish the whole class so we're not going to ignore it so here you go so you click on that whatever that exclamation point that's in red and we're going to choose a usage right so in this case, I haven't actually placed a Creative Commons license on it. If I had, I would select this material is licensed under Creative Commons. The closest license is that I hold the copyright, even though this isn't technically true. Texas State University does hold the copyright. It's not an option. Maybe in the future, they'll allow uh, me to add some options on here, but right now, these are the options. I hold the copyright. Now, what I can do is put copyright holder on here, and I can do it in the form of creating a copyright notice. And that's just the C in parentheses. That's 
takes the place of the C in the circle copyright. And I put the date that this was created, which technically actually I created it in 2019. And I'm gonna put Texas State University. And that's all I have to do. I don't even actually have to do that, but it helps to give notice to people that this copyright is being protected by the owner and that you should ask permission before you um, use it. I don't have to get permission because I created it. So I'm also gonna manage access. So I'm gonna go ahead and say publish and save it. And you see now that it comes up private, copyrighted, besides it. And that gives me a heads up that mm, before I share this with someone, maybe I ought to consider the copyright status. That's pretty much all there is to that. And I'm gonna do a, some additional videos, short videos, that explain some of the other options when I haven't created the work um, that come into play. If you have any questions, you can go to my website, which is texasstate.edu forward slash copyright, or you can run a search for copyright at the Texas State website, or you can contact me at copyrightoffice at txstate.edu. Again, my name is Stephanie Towery, and I'm the Copyright Officer here at University Libraries at Texas State University.